The green belt controversy has taken yet another twist. It involves the so-called Mr. X, the consultant hired to lobby governments to remove green belt land and rezone it for development. Multiple sources have now identified this Mr. X to CBC News as the former mayor of Clarington, Ontario, John Mutton. CBC's Natal Natalia Goodwin is following the story for us. Natalia, take us through what we know. Well, Natasha, what we know so far is that Mutton was the mayor of Clarington from 1997 until 2006, and he now works as a development consultant. And in that report from the Integrity Commissioner, it did say that Mr. X was one of two consultants hired by a landowner to help get a parcel of land, about 34 hectares, in Clarington out of the Greenbelt and have it rezoned for redevelopment. So I just want to show you the area that we're talking about here. You can see on the map there, the green, that is the green belt. And, and on the right of your screen, that's Clarington there. It's about 80 kilometers east of downtown Toronto. So that's the area where this parcel of land that we're talking about is. And if you look at John Mutton's social media accounts, you will see several photos of him and Premier Doug Ford, as well as other ministers uh, within Doug Ford's administration. There he is with Doug Ford there, and that is John Mutton's wife. Uh, in that photo as well. And we have another photo here with the housing minister as well there. This is from uh, a year ago on Mutton's LinkedIn profile and the caption there saying, we are proud to be the leading firm in turning out minister's zone zoning orders. Now, this report from the Integrity Commissioner also found that Mr. X interacted with a high senior level uh, political staffers within the housing ministry, taking them out to pay lunches, offers of gifts of Raptors tickets. As well, it said Mr. X himself was looking to get a million dollar payout if they were successful in bringing this parcel of land out of the green belt for redevelopment. Now, the Integrity Commissioner also investigates lobbying in Ontario, and in the report said that the Mr. X may have engaged in unregistered lobbying because they had not registered in regards to the green belt. It also mentioned someone who worked with Mr. X. That's Nico Fadani Diker. He was previously worked as an executive assistant to Premier Ford. And in a brief statement to CBC yesterday, he said that he had no interactions with Mutton besides this one file. Now, we have reached out to Mutton himself, but we have not heard back. However, he told the Toronto Star that he was never a lobbyist, nor was he ever hired to consult on lobbying to get lands out of the Greenbelt. And Natasha, we also have reached out to Premier Ford's office, but have not heard back yet. And have you heard from the opposition? Yes, the political, you know, outfall of this and opinion about this was very swift yesterday. We heard from the NDP official opposition here in Ontario saying that Ontario's land use policy should not be run by Mr. X, also repeating the call for the housing minister, Steve Clark, to be removed from cabinet and lands to be put back in the green belt. We also heard from interim liberal leader John Fraser, who says the more that comes out about this green belt controversy, the more questions he has. Way too shady. You know, you've got this person who's an unregistered lobbyist who's got this contract that um, gives them bonuses. Uh, if they get the piece carved out of the green belt, that's working with the person who was the executive assistant to the premier at one point. It's just, it's all too close. You know, it's beginning to look like all roads lead back to the premier on this green belt file. CBC also heard from Green Party leader Mike Schreiner, who said that this whole controversy is doing nothing to help the housing crisis in Ontario, and also went on to say that it seems that Premier Doug Ford is more concerned with getting his inner circle large payouts. Natasha. Okay, thank you, Natalia.